uh, hello friends and welcome back to my channel today I want to show you how to create a morph animation in 3d studio max so without wasting your time let's go ahead uh, for the morph animation we need to create one source object and few morph target so for this I'm creating one teapot now this teapot is going to become my source object and now I need to create a few morph target. Now when we create a morph target, we cannot pick up any random object as target. It has to be the same but modified. I'll show you like for example, if I'm using this uh, teapot as a morph target, it is acceptable, it is valid. But if I want to take a box as a morph target, that is invalid. So make sure you have to take a copy of the source object or you can either create similar object like and let's create a new teapot and this can be used as a morph target uh, so let's create few more target here I am creating copy of the new teapot which I have created and then I'll modify them using the modifiers so this one is going to become my target number one so i'll just first of all rename it as target one target one and then we can make some modification into this let's convert this into a editable poly and make some changes so i'm making simple change like this now second one I'll modify with the help of a modifier so I'll go to the modifiers parametric reformers and let's apply a stretch modifier to this so here I've applied a stretch that is going to become my target number two so I'll rename it to target number two and then I have this uh, 30 pot which I want to use as a target number three so let's rename it as target number three and then we can have some kind of modification into this with the help of some modifier let's use a taper modifier and we can even scale this object or otherwise from the parameters we can increase the radius so this is our target number three then we have the next one this is going to become my target number four so let's rename it as target number four and then we can have a modification like let's add a spherify modifier to this and then we have this final one that is num target number target number six five six is target number six okay now one more thing I want to tell you suppose we have taken a, a target which is uh, modified which has been converted into poly and then afterwards we apply some kind of uh, extrude so this kind of modification is not allowed so this target is going to become invalid so here we have uh, created six targets so once the source and the target object has been created then what we have to do is we have to select the source object and then we'll go to the compound object and in this we have uh, something called morph click on morph once we click on morph in the parameters we'll find a list that is the list of morph targets and in that the selected object is listed so we have to add targets in the list for that there is a uh, button over here that is pick target hit the pick target and start clicking the targets like this target one then we have target two target 3, target 4, target 5, uh, this target 6 
and uh, suppose if I try to hit this box or if I want to include this box as a target you can see the software is not accepting this as a target because this is not a valid target now let's try to select this teapot which is having some kind of extrude so even that is not accepted so we have these uh, targets now you can put it off now these targets has been added to the source object now second thing is animating these targets now for animating the target what we have to do is first of all we have to set the keyframes so for that first we will move on to a keyframe say for example we move to frame number 20 now at frame number 20 I want this teapot to transform into target number 1 so in the parameter rollout we'll have to select target 1 and uh, we are at frame 20 so here we have an option that is create morph key we have to click on this create morph key so at frame 20 this teapot will transform into uh, target 1 into the shape or form of the target number 1 so now uh, we want this to transform into target number 2 so let's move on to frame number 35 at frame 35 I want this to get transformed into target 2 so select target 2 and click on create morph key so like this we have to add all the targets and now we'll add target number 4 at frame number 60 and at frame 70 I want this target 6 and finally I want this object getting back to digital form at frame 90 so I'll select the first one that is my source object in the list and click on create morph key now once we are done with this all these targets has been added to the source object so we can play the animation and check now I can see the teapot is getting transformed into target 1 then target number 2 then target 3 4 as per the sequence now we can even modify these targets to fine tune the animation so suppose in this we make some more changes and that will be updated in the that will be updated in the animation and even in the second one if I want to make some kind of modification like uh, I want to add more stretch and amplify a little bit and in the teapot I want to make it a little bit larger so all these modification what we are doing here will be automatically updated in the animation so that is one thing you have to keep in mind so all the targets has been uh, updated and the morph animation will update them automatically once we are done with all the modifications we can even delete all these targets and leave only the source object and let's now let's play the animation see how it's working see the teapot is getting transformed into all the targets we have set so that is how we can uh, create a morph animation in 3d studio max hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching